the royal wedding of the year. Prince Hussein, the future King of Jordan, is officially married. He exchanged vows with Saudi architect Rajwa Al Saif in a discreet ceremony following Islamic traditions. The event brought together just 140 guests, including members of royal families from European and Asian countries. The dresses chosen by the guests were stunning. Queen Maxima of the Netherlands opted for a dress from the Italian brand Luisa Beccaria. The floral blue and fluttering set has a deep V neckline with fluid and semi-transparent sleeves and a skirt with floral print in a darker blue tone. This wasn't the first time Queen Maxima has been seen wearing this dress. She has worn it in other occasions, including a charitable dinner with members of the Dutch Council of State in 2019. Princess Victoria of Sweden also chose a delicate floral print. She wore an elegant cream-colored satin maxi dress with a modest neckline from the brand by Molina. The dress was a hit and sold out within hours at Selfridges. Another piece that quickly disappeared from the stocks was the pale blue dress with layers of tulle ruffles worn by Princess Beatrice of York. The dress is part of the new collection from the brand Needle and & Thread and was available at Harrods. Princess Beatrice added a personal touch to the look by swapping the original belt for a wider black belt. The layers of tulle ruffles added a unique charm to her appearance. Princess Mary of Denmark attended the ceremony wearing one of her favorite dresses, a white silk dress with a floral print in shades of blue, gray and red from the Turkish brand Erdem. She complemented the outfit with a baby blue belt, adding a daytime touch to her look. Princess Mary loves this dress so much that she has been photographed wearing it at several official events. In 2017, she wore the dress for the joint celebration of King Harald and Queen Sonia of Norway's 80th birthdays. Cheka Moser chose a vintage haute couture piece from Valentino's 1989 fall collection. She wore a pink coat with black geometric appliques inspired by the work of Viennese architect Joseph Hoffman. The piece perfectly matched a black maxi dress and a charming black turban. The A-line coat made of heavy silk fabric provided a bold and dramatic silhouette. Princess Elizabeth of Belgium arrived looking stunning in one of the most talked about dresses of the ceremony. She wore a monochromatic fuchsia look from the Belgian brand Essential Antwerp. The dress made of semi-transparent veils included a tulle cape adding even more elegance to her outfit. Princess Catherine of Wales decided to step out of her usual choice, the British brand Alexander McQueen, and opted for a creation by a Middle Eastern designer. She wore a pale pink high-neck maxi dress by Lebanese designer Eli Saab. To match the dress to the dress code of the ceremony, the model was slightly modified. The original belt was removed and the skirt received an opaque fabric reinforcement to avoid the transparency of the tulle present in the original model. Kate shone in this choice, which was one of the most glamorous party looks used by the princess. Queen Hania of Jordan, the groom's mother, showed her style by wearing black to the wedding. A discreet dress from Christian Dior's 2022 autumn collection. The dress features a simple high neckline, long sleeves and delicate gold and cream-colored bedwork applied to the collar, cuffs and back.
and finally the bride. Lebanese stylist Alyssa Ab also created the dress of Rajwa Al Saif with long sleeves, asymmetrical neckline, and a remarkable tail with floral embroidery that seemed to embrace the bride. In addition, she used a traditional veil that stretched for meters. The shapes of the dress perfectly enhanced the silhouette of the bride's body. What was your favorite dress? Tell us in the comments.